Hello, and thank you so very much for joining me tonight. Thank you for stopping by my channel. I appreciate it so much. It's such an honor to be able to create these sessions for you, for the collective, for YouTube, <laughs> for anyone who resonates and stumbles across this and vibes. I feel so fulfilled by creating these. So thank you so much for being here. And especially thank you for keeping the community, like as in the comment section, so positive, so uplifting. You warm up my heart every day. And if there's ever a day that I'm having a bad day or I'm feeling low or, you know, one of those situations, I can always come to the comment section and feel supported and appreciated. So thank you so much for that. Thank you also for your support, not only for me, but for the really cool and awesome sponsors that we get to have on this channel not only does it support me in my professional life but it really supports me in my personal life you know as a single mom it means the world to me so thank you so much so thank you to our partnership for this video which is fume if you've never heard of fume before neither had i neither had i and i'm so happy that not only have i heard of it now but i've also been able to use it for the last couple weeks and i totally love it if you've ever had or wanted to quit a habit, it's so easy to put off and it can sort of be a source, I don't know, for you, for me, a source of anxiety and stress trying not to do something, trying to cut something out without replacing it. And I know, you know, that's a whole loaded question or loaded topic, I guess we could say, but that's what fumes the way that they look at it. It's not about cutting something out and having a gap. It's cutting out a habit and then having something neutral to replace it with. And it's delicious, but it's a neutral product, I guess I would say. You can totally fidget with it, which I think is such a good design. Let me show you the beautiful real wood and the look of it. It's very um, sleek and easy to put in your pocket or in your bag or whatever. This is where you place the core, which I'll give you a demonstration of, and it uh, has such a nice weight. There's no electronics here, nothing to spill. It's just such a great, just like simple, but like really good, really well thought out design. I love playing with it. This is the end where you can uh, choose the amount of airflow that you want to flow through this. So it'll be like a little more flavorful if you have it um, more wide open but if you're just messing with it in your pocket it's something to kind of help you let that stress move through you or that anxiety move through you and just have like a little fidgety thing to help you kind of expel the energy or at least that's the way that i look at it i just put this core in as i was setting up to demonstrate this for you this is the white cranberry i'll show you all of the flavors but you just pop it in here put it in and you can just inhale It tastes so good. It's really refreshing. They have these awesome flavors. This is the first time I'm trying this one and I really enjoy it. It's like a zesty cranberry cinnamon sort of taste. The white cranberry. <laughs> the first one I tried right away was the crisp mint because I love mint anything. And this one is really nice and cooling and refreshing. And I feel like personally when I get stressed or anxious, the mint is gonna be like I mean, they're all really good, but the mint would have that cooling effect that I'm looking for sometimes. I didn't know what to expect with this flavor. Maple pepper, so good. It's such a yummy, I can't even explain it. A little more earthy, I guess you would say. So yummy. It comes with a cleaning kit with a little um, like pipe cleaner type thing and a polisher so you can keep it looking nice and neat. There are no harmful chemicals, just delicious flavors. I could just see this being very useful for a variety of different habits that people might be looking to break. Stopping is something we all put off because it's hard, but switching to fume is easy, enjoyable, and even fun. Fume has served over 100,000 customers and has thousands of success stories, and there's no reason that can't be you. Join Fume in accelerating humanity's breakup from destructive habits by picking up the journey pack today. Head to tryfume slash the loon innate or scan the QR code and use code the loon innate to get 10% off when you get the journey pack today. That's tryfum.com and use code the Lunanate to get an additional 10% off your journey pack.
Thank you so much to Fume. I love this product. I'm gonna use it all the time. I know my aunt's gonna get one. If you get one, let me know. If you've used this before, please let me know. It's so yummy and just such a great idea. So thank you so much viewers and subscribers. I truly couldn't do this without you. You mean so much to me. And now, happy to get to our session. Hello, and thank you so very much for joining me tonight. I go by Luna Needs, and what I'm creating for you today is a by proxy energy work session with ASMR, or just a relaxing video, something for you to think about, perhaps, if you're working, if you like to meditate, if you like to focus your thoughts, or kind of play with some ideas that help you to kind of get in the zone and align with things or practice in ways that support your alignment with the things that you're desiring to create, to experience, to develop within yourself or what have you. I apologize if my voice sounds a little different today. I'm just getting over a pretty bad um, throat cold or something. Like some sound a little weird and I'm coughing a little bit <laughs> but our theme for today is one that I've been working with myself and I do work with from time to time but I'm trying to incorporate more in my daily practice and when I say practice I just mean my life and what I'm able to bring my thoughts back to should I ever kind of stray into the disempowering thought realm I feel like that's kind of where I draw the line. Is it empowering and does it support me and does it feel good even if it might be challenging? Does it feel like something important? Something I'm called to? Or am I hurting myself? Or am I thinking or speaking to myself negatively or limiting myself in any way? So for me it's just like empowering or disempowering on the spectrum that I tend to work in. To simplify things basically. So if we've never met before, I'm an energy worker, Reiki teacher, student of mm, you know healing arts modalities and spiritualism and life. <laughs> and though these are videos that contain ASMR, they're not exclusively ASMR videos there energy work done in ASMR style, I think that that can be a little confusing sometimes or for some people who are just stumbling across the channel but our theme, getting back to it, is a manifesting theme I don't know if that's really out there, it's really saturated but I think that it's also important because we're here, in my humble opinion, to experience and create and that's what manifestation is to me moving towards or allowing experiences for growth and development and creating things or aligning with things that is in our hearts in some way. When I say desire, I feel like that can be taken to a lower point, but I mean it of the highest aspect when it comes to desire, like a soul desire of experience or of creation or some other meaningful, because it all has meaning, even if it seems like it doesn't, um, unfolding of your path. <laughs> and I think our desires are our path and they lead us on our path. I want to study this. I want to go get sushi tonight. I want to do this. I want to ride my bike, right? Like there's things and as we do those things and act on those impulses, more things light up and kind of lead us. I wouldn't be doing what I'm doing today if it wasn't for these impulses to start this channel even though my brain was like, what are you doing? So I'm a big advocate for that. So when it comes back to manifestations, there's a lot of ways to practice with manifesting, but what we're going to be working with today is a is a way for us to tune into the limitlessness of these fields within ourselves or that we're connected to perhaps, these channels that move through us. 
So for example, when we talk about manifesting and we want to manifest a resource, let's just say money because that's simple, currency, you know, the bag, right? <laughs> like whatever, I don't know. Sorry, like whatever it might be, but like let's just call it money because who wouldn't, right? Like who wouldn't take some extra money, right? Who doesn't, who couldn't use it? So when we look at that, it can make it feel like we're trying to, if we're trying to manifest money, for example, it can start to feel a little off-putting. There might be some judgments that we have on even wanting money, like we shouldn't want it, or there may be challenges that are in place for this desire, as in, oh, I need to work harder, I need to work more, I have to do this, I have to do, and it starts to create this lack feeling, this challenge, essentially when I think that a very effective way of manifesting is to, and you've probably heard this a hundred million times, to feel like and know that you already have it. And we've talked about that on the channel before. You are it. You don't need it. You are it. You align with it. You have it, right? So it's like a nice way of like letting things in because they already exist within you. So this is sort of in that realm, but we're going to be working with a currency and a sort, which is the limitless field and the limitless reserves and the limitless channels that you connect with, that you have, that you have access to, that you are part of in terms of love. So let's say you had a really nice chunky bank account <laughs> and in your heart, you want to be generous, right? Whether that's for your friends, whether that's for your family, whether that's for your inner child and being generous to your inner child. Maybe that's to charities or causes that are meaningful to you or whatever the case may be. It's not necessarily usually the case where we want this fatty bank account so that it just sits there. It's because we want to do things with it, right? So it's, um, it's a stream. It's not just a reserve that is finite and then we pull from it's like we we want like this stream of income the stream of finances this growth and this ability to spend or direct that you know that money or whatever it might be so we're going to kind of tune into our own bank accounts in a sense these limitless points within yourself of love and i want you to or you know suggesting here to be comfortable connecting with this limitlessness within yourself and to spread and share and spend <laughs> your love so generously, whether that is through your actions, whether that is in your thoughts and just as you gaze at things or the kindness and compassion that you um, demonstrate or allow to flow through you in your life and think of it as you know sorry for being cheesy here but almost like your bank account right and it is always replenished it is limitless it is a magical bank account and i feel like when i'm talking about love here i want to be as clear as i can to describe something that's so big i can't put words to it love is a word that's been a bit cheapened you know um, and I'm very guilty of this myself, if there's anything to be guilty of here, but, you know, I fall into this too. Um, instead of love as a, um, as language, I mean love as energy, love as God, love as universal life force, love as all that is good in the world, in the universe, in the, you know, <laughs> in the ethers. I mean it something so big and so encompassing and so powerful and so healing. So that's really what I want to see ourselves or inviting you to see yourself connecting with this field of like God, force, love, creation, healing, compassion, understanding, connection, completely unlimited. And yes, as it kind of trickles down from the ethers, as it becomes more materialized through us as conduits here, us as nexus points, and us as directing, it becomes a little more tangible, as in through an action or a kind word or um, a gesture of some kind or anything that we might do that expresses love or a way that we find ourselves called to express love. So, um... 
a little sidebar here. So sorry, I know we're having a really big intro to this, but I really want to let this kind of marinate, you know, for those of you who understand what I'm trying to do here, and then we'll get into like the more energy work stuff, but it's all energy work. Vocal cords are frequencies, right? Even even ones that have been sick recently. <laughs> but a little sidebar is um, when I'm in love, <laughs> When I'm in relationships, even friendships too, but when I'm in love of some kind, I'm not meaning to be egoic, but like my love is very, I don't want to put myself, I'm trying to say this as humbly as possible because I mean it humbly, but it's really good love. <laughs> it's very non-judgmental. It's very understanding, it's very compassionate, it's very giving in all areas, whether that's gifts or touch or presence or sacrifice. I am very much a giver when it comes to love. <laughs> and sometimes I struggle with this in my head or I start to um, feel there's a, when you give, love like that when you're a giver it's like some not really any partner or friend perhaps that you have is going to be able to met like you can't expect someone to match you when you're going so um you're going so hard on it you know what i mean you're really flexing on it because that's your nature and i tend to start to if i feel like resentment creeping in which is a whole other conversation, but something similar to resentment, something that tells me there's an imbalance, I have to step back and remind myself, first of all, I'm not wrong for loving like this. This is my nature, and I'm not going to put a cap on it to temper my own energetic fields. Instead, I'm going to remember to tune into the myriad of channels that this love or these efforts will be or are returned to me through the universal balancing, the harmony of the universe in a sense, or the, you know, the law of rhythm, the law of cause and effect, right? Like these universal laws that exist. And when I'm looking for it from specifically one channel, let's say a friend or a partner or whatever, I'm really limiting myself, right? So. I don't know if that helps at all for us to visualize and connect with this, but it's something that I think many of you probably resonate with because a lot of you just resonate with the things that I go through. Like we have a parallel, there's a lot of parallels in our little community here. So an encouragement here to not worry about any sort of reserve that you have as if this can run out. You're tuned in to this hugely expansive, completely unfathomable amount or uh, availability of this love. And you don't have to feel um, resentment ever for it not being harmonized. I shouldn't say ever. There's certain cases for certain things. But what I'm trying to say here in this, this practice that we're about to step into or that we're preparing ourselves for it's not that you have to spend your love and then you're expecting it back from that point, that channel. Expect it or know that it is just ever flowing through you. You are connected to it. So you're kind of tapped in like into a, um, <laughs> a line, what is it, a vein of gold or oil or ugh, oil's kind of gross, but I hope you know what I'm trying to say. It is just ever flowing like a waterfall that you can stand under this beam of water or light or whatever you see it as you're in the ace of cups you know you're in the overflow there is no lack here you can direct as much as you want and not only can you tune in and receive it from this source as if you're channeling energy for those of you who do energy work and are very comfortable with that you can also see it from the world around you as your giving so generously, the world will give to you, the universe will give to you, because in my humble opinion, the universe wants us to contribute the good, to add the good, and spread the love, <laughs> as cheesy as that sounds, so, so sorry for the lengthy intro here, we're gonna get into our session, and I'm actually 
actually going to be using this candle to kind of set an intention here. And we have these two flames. We will have these two flames. So we have like a little gateway. Right here between the flames and maybe you can see yourself walking through like passing through <laughs> this passageway and igniting your memory your awareness your acknowledgement of your connection to this limitlessness connection to this completely um, bottomless well of love on behalf of the highest and greatest good and perfect comfort perfect alignment our intention is to remember to connect with to feel to attune to this bottomless well, this ocean, this endless ocean, galactic ocean of energy that is love. It's like a little sweat on my finger too. But, and for us to share it, to spend it, to direct it, to let it flow through us, flow through you. Not only to add the good, but to manifest, to receive. As you give, know you will receive. You don't give to receive, but you know you're aware. High Priestess, you know, like you're aware of universal law. You're aware of cause and effect. You're aware of the principle of vibration. You're aware of um, these dynamics that are existing in the universe from micro to macro. And as you pull and direct from these fields, you are replenished tenfold. You are gifted. You are blessed. You receive. You manifest in other ways as well. Love, ideas, resources, connections, money, whatever it is. And through this as well, we completely eliminate lack. There is none. It doesn't exist in this practice. It doesn't exist in this universe, in my humble opinion, but... Okay. If you 
have your own intention here. You would like to set. Just have a look and see yourself walking through this passageway. We're gonna start with this western red cedar from the Shipsia. And cedar is the mother of the forest or some, something like that. And I think that love unconditional love and limitless love and there's like this portal sort of thing that I'm imagining even when we're in utero as our heart forms connected to our mother and as someone who had a very very bad relationship <laughs> and doesn't connect it to the mother for a very long time it took a lot I'd like to work with this to heal any of that for you or to allow you the intention here supporting a healing of sorts, a empowerment to remember that it's not just the relationship you had directly with your human mother, <laughs> it's the symbolism, it's the mother earth, it's um, the gateway, you know, that you've crossed into here. So let's go all the way back and set an intention to connect with ourselves back in back when we first our hearts first beat here in this reality in this lifetime we want to clear away any karmic any connection to past lives that is in any way hindering your connection to that limitless love that limitless abundance connecting you to lack in any way we're clearing it any oaths you've taken to remain in a disconnection from resources we are clearing here I'm going to start at your back Relationships be different? How would your career be different? How would the way that you view resources and money be different? And pull it back all the way to the present moment. Bringing it back. Anchoring in that awareness now of your connection. And you've always been connected. It only takes an acknowledgement 
to empower that connection. Moving through. Okay. You know, not everybody likes tuning forks. This is a little different, but it does sound like a tuning fork. So we're just going to attune to our hearts here. Harmonizing the heart chakra. There's a theme in the heart. Of doing for others and doing for ourselves. And one of the quickest way for me to balance my heart is to be aware that when I do for myself, I am doing for others. on the heart but visually I'm moving here but my focus is the heart space okay through focusing on channeling through to the heart again just kind of hoping
trying to build that feeling, that awareness of your connection here to limitlessness, limitless love. And as you pull and allow it to move through you, direct it, it becomes more material. Because that's where we're playing in this Earth experience. remember the name of this exactly. I think it's like Garnier, right? Or something. It's a really beautiful color. Caribbean. <laughs> sort of looking. And I love this one for heart transformation. And I think for a lot of us, it's... We've been so disconnected from thinking of love as energy and not just energy as like god force level energy of like universal energy of like chi prana electromagnetism and we think of love more like an emotion because that's just the language that we have for it at least in english when maybe love and language would be better off just being descriptive of how someone makes you feel you make me feel like I can be myself. You make me feel heard. You make me feel seen. You make me feel safe. I appreciate you. I appreciate our time together. I appreciate these things you do for me. And I want to do all the nice things for you, too. That feels better to me than just, I love you. Warm honey rolling 
down, <laughs> reaching your heart. Up. Like syrup, like resin. Not thick and sticky and gunky, but like energizing. Like nourishment. Like liquid crystal. <laughs> it. If we could magnify down, 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 we would see crystals. <laughs> like sugar crystals. But there's movement, and there's growth, there's a flow, there's a smoothness. on your heart as you breathe. View it as a portal lined with gold and gems and frequencies and lights and colors. Pink and green are typically the colors that we work with in the heart space. I tried. <laughs> I tried the colors here. I want it to be a little more teal, but you know, you get it. So, pink is helpful for soothing the heart, where green is helpful for raising the heart energy. So, we want to kind of soothe a little, temper. We're going to work with both. This is for soothing. This is for the intention of bringing back all of that expended, or uh, mis- oh, I don't want to say misdirected. The way that we direct our energies, but it's more of putting ourselves on the back burner and not being true to ourselves. Like, oh, I want to do that, but I can't because they need me. Oh, I'd really- I want to move, but I can't because of this. And it's because of a sort of self-sacrifice but not necessarily, forgive me for saying this, not necessarily a noble one, more of like a feeling of obligation. But what happens in those cases most of the time is that we're not honoring what we need in our lives. And we typically don't have a time frame like, oh, well, three more months here and then I'll do that. It's more of this, oh, I'll we'll see. So there's not even a plan in place to you know, have a period of self-sacrifice and then move to um, more personal empowerment or more acting or doing more because it's in your heart to do it. So this is more about kind of bringing the um, draining energy from the heart. What's a better way to say that? The false obligations that basically are not serving you or the other people or other person or circumstance because what was ultimately best for everyone even if it's challenging for them at first is for us to do what's right for us because that's how things work <laughs> so this is about doing what's right for you following your instinct and in alignment with our conversation here as well being who you are, unapologetically, loving without shame or guilt or direct expectation for replenishment from that channel. Let the universe replenish you. Let it show up for me on all avenues, all other possibilities. 
ways you sometimes you never could have planned for or pictured. So it's about personal truth a bit. Love, inner child healing, and doing what's ultimately best for you. And that's really just being authentic, following your instincts. And I'm going to place this actually between your feet. And oh, I do have another wand, so we're going to do a little <laughs> here as well. But I'm going to place this between your feet. Or just kind of, if you're sitting or laying down, just focusing on this rose quartz channel moving up through the center of your body and kind of beaming out like a light. And another rose quartz. This looks like it's dirty, but that's just some kind of matrix in there. <laughs> I thought it was ashes, because I do get ashes on everything, but it's not. and pituitary glands here. Supporting your awareness of this so you can kind of catch yourself if you're starting to feel, oh, I'm not getting back. Why am I giving so much? You can do it. You can receive from all over and take a step back. Like the example I shared from my personal Really focusing a concentration here. Down the throat. Supporting, thinking, speaking, expressing, and letting that love flow and be directed through your words, through your thoughts. And 
up with every cross the light gets brighter and brighter and brighter beaming out of you filling the space around you filling the room you're in the space you're in the home the building the street the town the state the country the whole world illuminated you could power the entire world from what you're able to connect with from what you are remember that there are all of these channels it's not just one way and one return it's coming from all directions it's you and then this huge field to replenish to fuel to like basically i guess what i'm trying to say is from my experience and i've seen this so many times i swear when the universe or whatever you want to call it sees you doing something they send support. It sends support. Someone's doing something good. Send more. Someone's got an idea. Send more ideas. Someone's um, working on this. Send help. Send support. When it sees a flow, I'm speaking of it like it's conscious, but maybe it's more mathematical or is math consciousness. Ooh, right? Like, who knows? <laughs> but when, it, when there's an open port, it's like, go, go, go. You could picture an ocean and a river forming, or a bay and a river forming. Send it through, right? So it's not just the first few drops of the first stream. It just keeps coming. So we're kind of opening, intentionally opening these ports, these channels, these currents as we're spending love, as we're directing love. And from this really rich, um, again, sorry for the repeat, words over and over again, limitless, 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 myriad, uncountable, unnumerable, immeasurable source or field or ocean that we're connected with. All right, so I'm going to just kind of move this through and around you. Just focusing on that stream. See yourself now doing, sharing, thinking, speaking, writing, imagining, generously, kindly, lovingly, how you empower others, how you hold space for others, how you don't pity anyone, you empathize, sure, but it's not pity. And now, of course, I forgot to mention we're working with the green as we've worked with the pink, which we've had some other green stones too. But we want to see this green light beaming out of you. It's layered. There's layers of pink and green like watermelon. This huge field around you. We want to call in our intuition, activating our intuition, activating our instinct, our gut instinct. To 
to know when to act and to act to receive the pull, the desire the guidance to direct, to share this love a favor compassion, an ear, a text message like it doesn't take much and know that you are replenished continuously because you're channeling here this is all about channeling not channeling as in channeling voices or messages you're channeling love you're channeling from these limitless fields your energy workers <laughs> right. and I'm going to place this between your feet again just right in front of the rose quartz to symbolize to connect with your receiving receptivity and your direction directing dominant channel so harmonized I have this gorgeous natural citrine point which is also we were working with intuition and instinct I really want this to support action because there's an action to take even if it is thinking it's an action you know um, we could say even if it's meditating taking time out of your day to meditate to add the good if it's a gesture if it's showing up if it's sending the message if it's writing the letter if it's reminding someone of how powerful they are <laughs> Whatever it may be, however you are called to direct and pull and express and move in ways that is channeling this limitlessness. So I want to focus in the inner eye, inner vision first. The dream. abundance, the expansion, the mystery of this all, the subtleness, the quickness, the soul level connection of it all, the power, this warrior of light, <laughs> warrior of love, and the transformation that's just my foot <laughs> and then down through confidence of who you are, of how richly you're connected, of this, can we call it a birthright, <laughs> of this inheritance, of this um, um, spiritual inheritance, of this subtle inheritance, of this, oh, what's the word, just yeah, birthright. It is what it is. <laughs> Connection to this gold, this love, this channel of benevolence and support and connection.
this is a golden optical calcite, so it's like a window. <laughs> so I'll use this when I get a little closer to almost give you instead of rose colored. Material things too. Girls gotta eat, right? Receiving. Preserve your mental field to keep this in your mind. Call in this golden halo guardian here. And I'm just going to put some on my fingertips. This is a resin. Surfing this so we don't forget and we don't let um, it become manipulated. Thank you. 
such a great practice in my personal experience for really opening the gates when we feel blocked, for really getting in the flow and allowing more things to happen and show up for us, even when we feel like at times we don't have what we need to get started or we're waiting for something to happen for us. Let's just get the ball rolling here. Let's start by expressing, directing, sharing this universal force that we all have such um, uh, rich access to. I'm gonna go around the aura. Smoothing it out. I would encourage you to wear or carry or focus on as much green <laughs> as much green and pink as you can. To keep this in the background, it's like constantly running, it will communicate to your subconscious mind that limitlessness, that abundance, and it will sort of help you to be more magnetic to receiving as well. I hope that you enjoyed our session here today. I want to thank you so very much for joining me. If you like my channel and would like to support it and get access to more catalogs, Patreon is a great way for that. Thank you so much, Patreons. I love you so much. I'm so grateful. And if you are interested in taking Reiki classes and you resonate with me as a teacher, I do teach Reiki now and there are some discount codes below. And thank you so much to all who have signed up and all that I've worked with in the past. It's so incredibly fulfilling for, for me, so thank you so much. From the very bottom of my heart, I bow to the divine in you and I into this beautiful ocean of love that we are all connected through. How beautiful. So much love to you.